Oh, hey. There's something I need to talk to you about. And that is this 2022 Can-Am Spider F3T. The reason it has the T moniker at the end is because it's the touring version. So with that, you get these gigantic freaking bags right here to hold all your shiny things. All of your knickknacks. Fucks that shit closed. I will say one thing, they're kind of hard to close. You just gotta know what you're doing. Because I don't obviously don't know what the hell I'm doing. So in this Spider F3T, we have a Rotax three-cylinder engine. I love three-cylinder engines. I think they're really cool. They have a good sound to them. They can deliver a good amount of torque while still delivering a good amount of high, high RPM horsepower. This bike has 115 horsepower and 95 pounds of torque. And that torque, I'm sure, plays a big role in this bike because it's so big. Now, you might might even be saying, yeah, that's not a bike. Um, and you wouldn't be wrong. Like, it's a snowmobile for, for the street. But it has a handlebar, so I'm going to consider it a bike. That's why we're doing a review on it. The F3 Can-Am is fuel injected, has a six speed automatic transmission with reverse, and I'll show you how that works here in a moment. It has a belt driven primary drive, a seven gallon fuel tank, seven gallons. You can go forever on this freaking thing. And it gets roughly 35 to 38 MPG. So theoretically, you could go over 250 miles on a tank. It has sack suspension all the way around and Brembo brakes. If you can see those, I know you can see the other side. Brembo brakes front and rear. Two four pot in the front and a four pot in the rear. It has a very approachable 26.6 inch seat height. Now, if you're looking at me, I am six foot tall and a stealthy 255 pounds with a 32 inch inseam. And it's super easy to sit on, but I don't really think that seat height matters on this because once you actually get on it and straddle it, your feet are on the floorboards anyway. So it kind of negates how tall, how tall the seat is. These Can-Am Spiders used um, in this eight year range uh, between 17 and 2022, you can find them somewhere between 15,000 and 20,000. And that is quite spicy for a motorcycle. The F3T also comes standard with cruise control. These factory side bags are 78 liters of storage. And dry, this bike weighs 950 pounds. And I'm sure that will play a small part in the performance of it. Um, but I'm sure it's quite limited just because it has three tires. <clears throat> the only modifications done to this bike are the plexiglass skid plate that you see down there. And I actually think it looks pretty cool, the skid plate down there. And the floorboards you see right here on the sides which, you know, give you more options to put your feet. You don't just have a, a peg there. And this charging port right here, which obviously everybody knows that comes in handy like crazy on the bike and see how it feels. So getting on, you just step on the, on the floorboard here and swing yourself over. <clears throat> and I can already tell you right now, this is a super, super weird seating position that I am absolutely not accustomed to. So as you can see, my feet are very, very spread out, and there feels like there's a, a, a good bit of motorcycle in between me. It definitely feels like I'm sitting on something substantial. That being said, it is extremely, extremely comfortable, uh, which is something I should point out. Look how giant this freaking seat is. I guarantee you I could, uh, you know what, in, in fact, I'll do it. 
this passenger seat is the most comfortable passenger seat I have ever sat on. This is like, shit, I'd almost rather be right here. Anyway, let's go up here. And I'll show you all the cool nifty things it does. TFT display, which I really, really appreciate. And I also like that their uh, analog style. Like it actually has a has a needle that goes back and forth. I don't really um, care for just numbers or like a slide bar or anything like that. I, I like to see a needle going up. I don't know. Maybe that's just the old dude in me. How to start it is you have to hit mode. And that'll bring just your regular gauge cluster up. You have to hit the brake. And the only brake lever on here is this foot brake. And this foot brake controls the front and the rear. So as you can see, there's nothing on this handle here and nothing on this handlebar over here. The only thing you got over here is on the back here, maybe you can see it in the rearview mirror, is shift down and shift up. All right? So to start it, you press on the brake down there on the foot, and then you just hit start. Easy peasy. Uh, I've noticed it sounds it sounds pretty good. It definitely has like a little rumble to it. I would be curious what this would sound like with a slightly uh, more aggressive exhaust. Not anything insanely ridiculously loud, because we all know I'm not into that. Just a, a, just a little more, just a little bit a little bit more of a of a spice to it. So to get it in reverse. You have to first take the parking brake off, hit the R button that's right here on top, and then hit downshift. See, it just switched into reverse, and then <clears throat> you can just touch the throttle and it'll move back. All right, now to put it in first, you just simply hit plus, it goes into first, and now, like I said before, there's no clutch, no no, nothing over here on the handlebar, so I'm in first gear because this does have an automatic transmission. Um, and all I have to do at this point is let off the brake and twist the throttle and, and go. So let's give that a shot. Hoo! -hoo. So I have been riding this motorcycle for all of. Do I call it a motorcycle? Is it a motorcycle? Can I call it a snowmobile for the street? I don't know. I don't know. I guess trike. We'll call it a trike from now on. I've been riding this trike now for 10, 15 minutes, and I have essentially had to have to completely retrain myself on how to ride. This thing is cr kind of um, unwieldy to ride when you first do it, especially if you're used to riding a two-wheeled motorcycle because a lot of the dynamics of it have have changed, right? Going from a two-wheel motorcycle to this. So uh, one thing that stands out very, very quickly is, is the steering. Normally you counter steer to steer the other way. This you do not. You steer one way and it, it, it goes that way, which is very, very awkward and takes a few minutes to, to figure out. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed right from the get-go is right right here you have three uh, paths that your your tires are going on so any pothole that's in the road one of your tires are gonna find it so you end up getting like uh, quite a bit of um, it, it's quite bumpy just all, all over because you have both the fronts and the rear kind of bouncing at the same time all right, so like like for here, coming to a stop for a, a, a example, you just hit the brake with the right lever, and I don't even, and I'm manually downshifting, but I don't think I have to. No, I don't, it, it'll downshift for me. So now I'm in first gear, all off of that one brake pedal. I have a green light, so I will go. Here in a minute, we will talk about how comfortable this is, but first, um, I wanna get it on this you know, like, like usual, I'm not going to say twisty section because, you know, it's definitely not as twisty as, you know, uh, other people's twisty sections, but 
we'll say uh, curvy. I'm gonna take it on this curvy road. You know I like them curvy, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. Will it upshift without me telling it to? No, it will not. It wants me to upshift. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is freaking scary. Doing some of these twisty bits is uh, is a little hairy. Let's give it a little bit of beans. Ooh. 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 I like that. I like this engine. It's got a throaty punch to it. And, uh, you know, even though the transmission is uh, an automatic, I kind of like it. Because uh, when you do upshift with it, you got a good clunk to it. It's very, very satisfying. Uh, you know, some people might not like that. Some people might, you know, want a smooth, uh, seamless shift. My buddy that I borrowed this from told me to beat the shit out of it, so... Let's try it. Ooh. It's, uh, you know, it's quite spicy. Uh, honestly, the conversation probably went like, Hey, bud, let's, uh, let's take our snowmobiles and go for a rip over to Timmy's and grab some brekkie. But, it was summertime. So there was no snow to ride snowmobiles. Boom. Invention of a spider. Snowmobile for the street. They can still have fun while ripping over to Timmy's and grabbing some brekkie. And let's 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 be honest. I'm really not making fun of Canadians here. I love Canadians. So where I'm sitting is a very 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 comfortable spot. Like I said earlier, the the seat is huge and it is plush and nice. Um, the only thing I would complain about, I think, after a long day, is like how far my feet are apart. I'd like to beat them to be a little closer apart. I feel like that would be a little more comfortable for a long period of time. Other than that, I mean, I could ride this thing freaking forever. So I actually really, really, really enjoy this engine. I think it makes an awesome sound. And 115 horsepower and 95 pounds of torque is, is quite respectable. Um, I think that if they put uh, this same engine in a two-wheeled bike, uh, that was maybe maybe meant for touring. That was a manual transmission. Man, that would be a fun bike. 95 pounds of torque is, is no joke. Uh, and if you could put that in a bike that was lighter weight than this one, you'd be having a freaking good time. After a certain RPM, it kind of falls on its face a little bit. But up to there, you're like, holy shit, yeah, this thing's pretty fast faster than I would have uh, expected for sure. It is it is kind of weird sitting in a light like this because you feel like you're on a motorcycle, right? You're, you're sitting in a normal position. You got your handlebars where they normally are, but you don't need to put your feet down at all. Like I kind of feel lazy right now because I'm not doing anything. All right, we'll give it a little bit of beans and I'll let you know what RPM it kind of dies at. It dies at seven. And I, honestly, I, I think I would kind of shit myself if somebody like pulled out in front of me or something because my immediate reaction because I'm used to riding a motorcycle would be to grab a handful of, of brake here. But that's not there. So I, I, if somebody pulled out in, in, in an oh shit uh, situation, I might be a little screwed in that situation because I'd, I'd probably grow, go for that front handbrake. Like, I can at least mildly appreciate this because I am an older dude. Like, I'm old enough to where I can have an entire playlist of nothing but Limp Bizkit and Creed and complain about it none at all. Oh, wow. 
we're going quite a bit under the speed limit, aren't we? So I really, really like this uh, this gauge panel, this gauge cluster right here. I don't like how it's split right down the middle. It doesn't make any sense. It, it literally splits. Like if you did, if they if they would have just integrated that into one, I think it would have been a much nicer piece. Just don't understand why they did that. All right, we're coming up on a uh, entrance ramp on the highway, so we'll do. Yeah, man, that thing sounds really good. Shit, see, yeah, see, I just, I absolutely just went for that front brake. Let's see how it goes on I uh, see if it'll let me. Yeah, that feels so wrong. Like, it feels like the back end is about to skip out on me or something. So when we get on the highway here, I'm... Oh yeah, it feels so weird. We'll give it some beans. I mean, it goes quite good. At 76 miles an hour on the highway. I do feel a little bit of vibration in the Gucci area and in my feet, like in my heels. But, I, I mean, I could definitely live with that over an extended period of time. The wind protection on this thing is great. I'm getting almost none at all. I'd show you cruise control, but I don't know how to fucking work it on this thing, so... Alright, now we're going 80. Ish. getting along quite well. For some reason, that mirror is a whole lot shakier than that mirror. That mirror, I can see things out of, even at highway speeds, absolutely crystal clear. That one's just a little bit, of sh a little bit shaky. Oh man, I had two more gears to go. I was sitting here cruising in four, thinking that that was, uh, that was good enough. I had two more gears left. This thing is built for cruising, I reckon. This is a 1330 CC inline triple, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So, pretty big displacement as far as motorcycle goes. So, uh, who is this bike for? Um, I think this bike is for uh, maybe older older people who <clears throat> are maybe losing um, the ability to keep a motorcycle up or you know maybe have less function in their hands or feet um, or just really short people where uh, where motorcycles intimidate them a little bit because anyone can sit on this and be quite comfortable you know, if, if you're trying to go fast, if you're trying to, like, you know, do gnarly stuff and turns and wheelies and shit like that, this is not the bike for you. That is for sure. But if you're trying to cruise at very long distances, perhaps, or, you know, you just want that feeling of open airness and you don't want to deal with, you know, a regular motorcycle, this is a very good option for you. Especially if you have the extra coin. I, I guarantee you this guy won't wave. Oh, shit, I got the wave. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get into a ranking system of some sort. So, uh, I'm going to go looks alone. I'm going to give it a six. Um... And uh, I think this is a six, and I think a Riker would be like a five or a four, because they are just weird looking. This one looks much, much better with the stuff that kind of hides the handlebars when you look at it from the front. I think it looks much better that way. Um, fun factor. Hmm. It's kind of hard to rank, because like I'm having fun, for sure, just because it's so weird. 
but it's not like blazing fast and it's it doesn't have like amazing suspension and i won't be able to like turn you know <clears throat> i won't be able to like take it to the track or you know so fun factor i'm gonna give it a five practicality is how it does is where it does quite good however um so practically i mean shit you got bags back here you got storage for days uh it's super easy to ride you could ride this for a very very long time um you know it's it's super practical you know, all the wind protection in the world cruise control um heated grips grips would be really cool i'm sure you know heated grips are easy to add but it has all the practicality in the world so i'm going to call practicality i'm going to call it like an eight or a nine uh value uh i mean i'm sure it's got it's got a lot of value for somebody who who has to have a bike like this um if it like can't ride a, a two-wheeled motorcycle then the value is probably there but as far as value as i'm concerned uh, it's not that great um you know just because you know it's just not something i would buy and if it if it was something i'd buy it's you know i think they're 20 22 brand new and that's just that's very very spicy and overall rank how would i rank it overall overall i'll give it a 5.5 let's see if we can get a quick acceleration and braking test in right here just a quick one all right we'll go to a stop all right that is full throttle Oh, damn, the brakes are good. <laughs> wow, these brakes are fantastic. I want to try that again. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I guess there's a reason that the uh, Brembo is the gold standard. Uh, uh, the turns are sketchy. I'm going to egg Yeah. The turns are kind of fun once you get it. They just, you know, I don't know, scary. Yeah. Like small bumps in the turn and stuff, I, I feel like, like every time I'm going through a, a turn and I hit it, I feel just a slight bump. I, th I feel like I'm gonna get bucked off of it or something, which obviously is never a good feeling. So uh, you guys in the comments, let me know if you would ride this. And if you wouldn't ride this one, let me know if there's any other trike you would ride. Cause you know, some of them are pretty cool uh, and they're definitely interesting. All right. This is where I will bid you adieu. I will say sayonara. I will say kiss, never mind, I'm not gonna say that, but you know, smell you later, player.